Hi, this is Dana Rocky, and so m many of our questions uh, that we get here uh, are related to periodontal disease. And of course, uh, as a what I call a wellness-based dental practice, really the cornerstone of that or the foundation of the work that we do here is to make sure your, your gums and surrounding tissues are healthy. And that's periodontal disease, the old term being pyorrhea. We want gums perfectly healthy. We do not want a disease um, going on there, inflammation, bleeding, um, bone loss, and things like that, which are classic signs of gum disease. So a lot of patients are confused is, is exactly what is happening there and what the architecture, what the relationship is. So in this picture here, I talk about um, the wall of the tooth and the gum that's laying against it. So when you smile and someone smiles brightly and you see the gum scalloping along the teeth there, just know that the gum doesn't attach to the tooth right there. It attaches, so you can see this is the portion it attaches to it at some distance below. So we've got the wall of the tooth, we have the attachment of the gum, gum or the skin to the tooth, and we have the top of the gum up in here, which we call the crest. So we measure, it's important to us to use an instrument called a periodontal probe to actually measure the depth from the height of the tissue here down to where it attaches. And we have, um, we assign a number, a millimeter number to that. And of course, the deeper the number is more the problem. We like to think that this number going from the top here to the bottom of the, of the attachment of the pocket um, at three millimeters or less being healthy. And the reason for that is that generally with good brushing, good flossing, you're able to clean the bacteria out of there to keep the bacteria from growing extensively and, and the situation here developing into periodontal disease. So if you're at your dentist, uh, and they're calling out numbers as they're scalloping around the mouth on um, the ins and outs of the teeth and upper and lower arches and all of that and you have numbers four or five sixes and beyond that's the signs of, of periodontal disease if you've got uh, numbers that are three millimeters or in less in here we generally think that's a, um, a healthy what we call a healthy pocket and and your chances of having periodontal disease is very low another another issue is um, we have bleeding so when we put the periodontal probe in here uh, we get bleeding there. We call that bleeding on probing. That's also a sign of gingivitis or inflammation, irritation of the gum tissue on the inside wall of that pocket. And there's really only one reason why you have inflammation and bleeding there, and that would be bacterial deposits inside here. So that's the purpose of brushing and flossing, is to keep the bacteria out of here, keep the bacterial colonies from growing in here, to keep the numbers low to keep the attachment tight and reduce the inflammation and bleeding in the area. This is a photograph, of course, of a situation that's pretty bad where you have heavy tartar deposits here, loads of bacteria teeming around here. You have the pocket depth growing and as the attachment, as the bone is being lost and the attachment of, of this is beginning to drop, this number begins to increase here. So that's the signs of periodontal disease. So. We can actually, with uh, modern saliva testing techniques, we can actually culture the bacteria that's in here and we learn that some are very bad and very aggressive and some are less aggressive. But the whole point being is great oral hygiene, great recall at the dental office to ideally to keep the, this situation here where the tooth wall and the, and the tissue adjacent to it, otherwise referred to as the pocket, is a healthy environment with minimal bacteria, minimal debris and all of that. That's the goal. So anything beyond that we have to treat and that'll be a subject for another day. Thank you.